What's up you guys, Erica here, and I'm back today with another video for you. I have a very informal video for you today. Um, I am currently getting ready for my Halloween Hocus Pocus spectacular, whatever you want to call it. Uh, today is October 31st. Halloween. So um, I thought it would be fun to do my makeup using the new Hocus Pocus collection because why not, right? I'm gonna go ahead and kind of like speed through this and I hope that you guys enjoy. I'm starting off with a clean face and I am using the Laura Mercier Infusion de Rose Nourishing Oil. My skin is very dry so I tend to put this on right before I apply my makeup. So that is all I have on. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do my eyebrows first and then I will get into the Hocus Pocus products. So here we go. I'm gonna apologize now for the glare. If it's really harsh, I'm using my ring light. So it's, it's great for me because I need to see what I'm doing. But for you guys to see what I'm doing, it's kind of harsh, I'm sure. This product tends to come out like much more harsh than what I like for a brow, but it's just family coming over to this party so they can deal with my overly filled in brows. <laughs> Looks good enough. Moving on to the ever fabulous eyeshadow palette, I am first gonna take the shade Hello Salem with my Sigma E40 blending brush and just apply that all over the lid. I'm actually filming quite a few videos today so I need to go with a look that can be focus pocus friendly, but also fall friendly. So I think I'm going to go for more of like an brown green kind of look. I really wanna use the eyeliners though, and they're really loud. So I'm thinking I might just do a neutral eye and then the green will really pop. Next, I'm going in with On Toast. And I am going to focus this on the outer corner here, not being super careful with where I apply it. I think next what I'm gonna do is I'm going in with Brew Potion with my finger, which is this super like metallic-y shade, and I'm just gonna apply this, oh boy. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. I will say, I think this formula is like the chalkiest glitter that is in here, but it is the prettiest. Like I remember swatching this shade and it was amazing. So I'm very happy with it. It does not feel uncomfortable on my lids like at all. It feels very light, very comfortable. I really like the way that that's looking. I might go in with Night of Frolic, which is kind of like a burgundy shade, even though I just said I wanna go with green. I'm feeling kind of ballsy, so let's see. This might just mess it all up, but we'll see. Definitely getting more of like a Thanksgiving vibe with this, like the cranberry is very prominent, but I'm liking it so far. Gotta be real careful with this color. I can see it's super pigmented, but it is blending out really well. I'm just ever so gently bringing this in to the inner corner, just a teeny bit. It's kind of spreading the glitter everywhere, which is not ideal. I wanted that to stay on the lid, but that's what I get for going in with a different color last minute. If you're interested in seeing how this Hocus Pocus party went on, or you know how I set up for it, what I did and all that, I do have a video. I'm filming that video uh, today. Like I'm obviously getting ready to film that, but uh, that video will be up on my channel first. So if you're interested in seeing that, I will definitely have it linked. Uh, I wanna definitely like give you guys plenty of content and spoiler alert, I am doing Vlogmas this year, you guys. So please be sure you are subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on any fun content I have coming up, not only for November, but for December, definitely. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I feel like the purple might be the most ideal, but I really like want to commit to this green because that's what I wanted to do. So I might end up looking like a Christmas tree. I'm hoping that you guys will support me in whatever choices I make. So I'm gonna do a quick line all over the uh, lash line just on the top here. Okay guys, I'm sorry. I went ahead and did my foundation off or I guess on camera. My mom is here now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with my concealer. I am using the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. I'm in the shade Almond. I love this stuff, shout out to Saria. I tried to get her to go try the sh uh, tar <laughs> the Tarte Shape Tape. 
and it didn't work for her so she tried this instead and she likes this so now I'm trying this and I really like it but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and keep like speeding through this but yeah I just did foundation and now I'm gonna do concealer and carry on with my face and then I will be back to finish the eyes all right you guys I finished my face oh god I look washed out I'm moving on to lashes I'm gonna be using flirty witch now these are obviously the Sarah lashes because let's be honest the other two were kind of like want want and I'm here for the drama so I'm gonna pop these babies on and then I am going to finish up the eyes with the eyeliner again I told you guys I don't know if going in with that green is a good idea but I'm gonna try it if you guys are watching this and you're like just curious about these lashes God knows if Colourpop will ever restock but like if you've got huge eyes these are you're in for a treat because look at these lashes I look like a horse okay this is always what I like to do. I do have a full tutorial on how I apply my false lashes, but this is a really great way to measure them out. I always feel like this is kind of a waste of lash. Like I need to cut off a significant amount, but it is what it is. That's looking pretty good. I could honestly still cut a little bit more if I'm being honest. I don't love the inner corner. I'm sorry, I don't like the thinner part of the band to reach all the way to the inner corner, but in case my eyelid decides to grow, I'll have plenty of extra lash here to cut off in the future. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my duo lash glue. Okay, so there's one on. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other one and I will be right back. Okay, we got both lashes on. I think I cut more off, sorry. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back with the tutorial. Okay, I think I cut more off of this lash than I did this lash, so they're looking a teeny bit wonky for my liking, but whatever, it is what it is. Um, so I am going to move on to the eyeliner. So I'm going to be using the Black Flame Candle, which is this green, uh, I'm not gonna swatch it. I already swatched this entire collection for you guys. If you're interested, I will leave it linked. I think it's here. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this right on my waterline. It's not very vibrant as I'm putting it in my actual waterline. So what I'm doing is I'm smudging it just a teeny bit over my lashes. Okay, so there's that. I actually like the way that this looks. I was worried it was gonna look too Christmassy, burgundy, cranberry, gold, and green, but I'm liking it. So I'm gonna hit my lashes with some mascara. I'm gonna use my telescopic mascara from L'Oreal. And then the last thing I'm going to do is apply my lip. I don't know what lip I'm gonna do. Obviously, the Sanderson sisters each had their own red. I think Winifred's is a little more like orange red. Mary's is a true red, or I could have have those reversed. But I do know Sarah's is a little bit more of like a burgundy, like a brick red. So I might go with that one since I went with the cranberry eyeshadow. So there are the eyes. Let's see where I've got my lips. This is Mary's. Winnie's is definitely that kind of like orange undertone red, a little more bri uh, brick red. And then Sarah's is definitely, he's got like some brown purple undertones to it. I think I'm gonna go with Mary's today, which is a strange choice for me. Let's see, Maddie. You what? I think that one's better. The dark one? Yeah. It's Christmas. I mean, it's Halloween. Okay. Okay, then never mind. Uh, my mom votes. She's gonna, she thinks I should do Sarah's lip color. So I'm gonna do that. It's the deeper one. Her lip pencil is called Lucky Rectail. I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret, a little like insecurity of mine, if you will. My lips are very big, yes, but I think they have one of the worst lines for lip lining. Me too. They are not even. And here, the natural line curves up. So it's like I actually am Winifred a little bit because mine like dips more towards the middle. I have the exact same problem. So you're welcome. Yeah, maybe, oh yeah, thank you, you gave it to me. See, look at how it, instead of like dipping down, it goes up, like I have like an, a natural, see how different these look? I don't know, maybe no one is, no, so people are watching this at home like, ah, oh, it looks the same to me. But you know how that goes, you notice things about yourself like no one else probably would. And that's it, that's the makeup look, I'm going as a chola. Just kidding. Here we go, I'm gonna go in with, yeah, it's just called Sarah. 
All right, you guys, so that is going to do it for my little hocus pocus get ready with me here. Uh, I have to go downstairs and get ready for this party. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you join my little YouTube fam here. Have you used the collection yet? Did you get anything? Are you sad you didn't get anything? Let me know. For now, I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video, and I hope to see you back again for the next one. Bye.